In this video, you learn how to create real threads with clearance in FreeCAD 1.0.2. Here you see a preview in the Bamboo Studio Slicer, but it's actually a FreeCAD tutorial. First, create a new sketch that will serve as the base for the object where the holes will be. Use the centered rectangle tool for this. Draw a rectangle on the origin and make it 100 by 100 millimeter. Click on close to exit the sketch. Now select the pad feature to extrude the rectangle. Check reversed, leave the distance as it is and click on OK to apply. Select these four corner edges while holding the control key. and apply a fillet with a radius of 5 mm to the corners. Click this eye icon to show the origin planes. Select the bottom plane and create a new sketch on it. Click the same eye icon to hide the origin planes. Also hide the model by clicking this eye icon next to it. Now select the circle tool and draw four circles, each in a different quarter. You can select all circles and make them equal if you want. This is not necessary with creating holes because the diameter will be defined later. Make sure not to select any center point when making them equal. Select these two center points and finally the vertical axis. Then create a symmetrical constraint. Do the same for these two circles, but now with the horizontal axis. You can also do this over the origin with diagonally opposite circles. Select the dimension tool and add the following dimensions. Now all circles have the same distance to the center of the object. Click this eye icon to show the model and see where the circles are positioned. Click on close to exit the sketch. Click the same eye icon to show the model. FreeCAD did not remember that I already did that inside the sketch. Select the sketch with the four circles and then go to the hole tool. First select a profile, let's go for isometric regular. For the depth, select through all. The holes will go through the whole object now. Then check the threaded box and select a size. Let's go for M8. Then check both the model thread and update thread view box. This may take a while. Consider subscribing if you like my content, thanks. For 3D printing, it's probably necessary to check the custom clearance box. For me, a clearance of plus 0.2 millimeter works well, but it can be dependent on the thread size. Click on OK to apply the threaded holes. The model with threaded holes is complete now. To get the best export, select the latest feature of a body. Then go to File and select Export. And save it as an STL file for 3D printing. Then it's ready to be sliced and printed. Here's a preview. You might want to check out my 3D printing channel for more tutorials and projects.